Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic, Mod Monday, Skyscrapers, Maps, Ships, and Churches. Okay, straight away, as usual, disclaimer, there's a lot of, a lot of wonderful mod mods, you should go to a Steam Workshop, you should choose... Uh, uh, whatever suits you the best. This is just eight mods I'm gonna be presenting today that caught my eye and I'm gonna present it, compare them to the vanilla ones and give you my honest opinion about them and hopefully you're gonna like some of them and try them out. Okay, first one. Church. It is. Buildings by, building by Robs074. Church from the 80s based on a real building in uh, Cher... Chaustochowa, Poland, serves 80 believers. Uh, right, there's nothing to compare it in, in this, uh, this looks like quite similar to a lot of churches, well, at least the style from that period, it's a little bit more modern than the classical ones from the 18th and 17th century, 19th even, uh, but definitely something that is quite realistic. Uh, I compared it to the church in real life, I'm gonna leave that to you, you have a link to description, to this link in description this video to this mod you can compare it to the actual church if you wish you can find it in their before mentioned town let's move on mr vanok rus mnb medium radio station built of a city radio radio station drawn from the head real prototypes are missing uh, you can also download a smaller version of my radio yada 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 you can go and check out in the description of the video about this mod now this is something that is gonna make your life easier uh, it serves 70 people 10 moderators or actors I believe it might be a little bit on a small side to accommodate this amount of people but who am I to judge um, I'm probably gonna be using it sometimes uh, I it's quite realistic in the in the size you don't have to have enormous radio station talking about the enormous radio station we have a blueprint here of the vanilla one or vanilla radio station you can see the footprint of it that is absolutely enormous compared to this one um, we will be finishing this one I just wanted to compare the construction requirements for this one if you go to your mod section and you go to your broadcasting you will have the small medium small uh, radio station you can see that it requires 70 tons of FIFA panels 32 tons of steel uh, f 12 tons, I believe it's 12 tons of concrete, uh, I think we're gonna have a complaint about this one, 4.5 tons of gravel, uh, 0 0.43 tons of electrical components, 927 work days to finish. Compared to the big one that requires 850 tons of concrete, 200 tons of gravel, 400 tons of steel, I think it's gonna be hard to compare the realism of the small one, but it's obviously made out of prefab panels, you can see the whole construction, it uh, requires a little bit less material, I would like it to cost a little bit more than this, but unfortunately this is the order of things, 25,000 rubles, you can check the link of the description of the video for the link to this mod. Okay, we have something different. This is Mr. Tarnet 18, World Trade Center, New Orleans, or New Orleans, uh, New Orleans. This is World Trade Center of New Orleans, a historic 1960 skyscraper. Yada yada yada. It acts as a. You can see, read about it in the description of the video. I'm not gonna mess about this. You guys can do your own math. I will compare it to the normal town hall. Now this is totally 100% opposite of what we had previously where you have something that costs enormous amount of money somewhat uh, compared to the size and of course it higher it can 135 people can work here compared to 25 I believe in Valiva, vanilla one let's compare the price between two now this is historical building which is definitely I'm a sucker for those buildings that actually exist in real life and somebody gives an effort to try to recreate something like this big kudos big times up from my side so this is something that I'm really really interested in and if when I'm gonna be building American states like Alaska wink wink uh, we're gonna be going for something like this Okay, uh, how does it compare to the vanilla one? So we have here, if we go to our city hall, and we're gonna have this beautiful enormous building, costs 158,000 rubles to build. 
It does require just under 600 tons of concrete, just under 150 tons of gravel, just under 800 tons of prefab panels, just over 100 tons of steel. Interesting amount of um, material required for this to be constructed. I think some of them might be a little bit too high, some of them a little bit too low, but I think it equalizes pretty much nicely, uh, at least in my books. This is way, way, way of an overkill for a city hall, but it's not all about the overkills, underkills and, uh, and uh, efficiency. Something is in the eye of beholder, so definitely big thumbs up for Mr. Tarnet18 and this WTC New Orleans city hall uh, check out the description of the video for the link to this mod right under here on the third page at least for me that will be vertical farm uh, test obviously test version how much would it cost it costs arm and a leg uh, let's see in rubles it would cost two and a half million so it's really really out there with the price and that's in the beginning of the game I bet in 1980s or 2050s it will be at least 10 times that much if not even more so heads up price is pretty pretty steep Okay, so we are more or less done with the buildings. I'm gonna go for ships because this is something I'm probably gonna be using myself. myself. Um, this is a ship uh, pack, old ship pack. I'm gonna go for a description. Wild Bunny made this one. There are eight ships, Clyde Puffer Flat Iron Motor Coaster slash Motor Tanker, Ski God Skib, whatever that is, a Adria, and uh, that is it. I'm gonna show you exactly what these boats are. We have two versions of these. We have uh, the uh, oil tanker over here. This would be motor tanker ship, and we have motor coaster ship. So this one is for cargo, this one is for oil. We have a huge, enormous passenger ship called Adria. I'm not really sure if that's a ship that actually existed. I will assume so. It has a 1,000 passenger capacity. Capacity. Heads up on that. Probably good for taking tourists into our country. And then we have a Skigo, Skigo, Skib, okay, this ship. It's a little bit bigger on the bigger side. It looks really, really nice. I'm, I'm hoping I'm going to use this one uh, often. Uh, we have Clyde Puffer. This is a really small ship. This is for your local distribution if you have a nice river system or if you are running an island. And then we have Flat Iron. This is classical ship, a cargo ship that can carry your uh, loose cargo, uh, you can see that it has a big compartments there. How does it compare to the ships that... Oh, by the way, heads up, dollars. You're gonna have to buy it with dollars because they're all American or, or ships that you can purchase with dollars. Right, uh, if we go to a dollar section, we don't have any comparison here. Here I have all the ships unlocked. Unfortunately, we only have American or Swedish uh, ships over there. We have a Skik... Let's go. We have this Danish ship over here. Rest of them are UK ships. They are decent in price. Decent in price. The smaller one is forty-seven thousand dollars, and uh, Clyde Puffer. It's something that interests me a lot. How does it compare to our Soviet ships? So something Soviet-wise, this ship. We do have River Cargo ship, which is much b bigger than Clyde Puffer, and we have Moskvich here. Size-wise, passenger-wise, we have. This one, Dunai class uh, for passengers, and then we have something bigger. Not really. That's the biggest one we have. So these these big ships from the, the uh, from UK are definitely something that is worth noting. Comparing the prices, I don't think it makes any sense because dollars and rubles are totally different currencies. You have to get them the different ways. Well, actually export into different countries, but definitely uh, have a look at this mod because it looks really, really good. Description of the video, guys. Right, next one would be refrigeration truck. We have Škoda refrigeration truck. This is just a smaller version of this one over here. We're gonna compare them both. Price-wise, you can see that it's a little bit cheaper, but it's significantly less capacity. Why would one want to do that? Well, this Škoda has actually quite few trucks, and if you want to have a nice set, this is definitely better for well, I think it's even better model from the outside. I think it looks absolutely fabulous. I think it's amazing, and this is definitely I'm, this is a keeper for me. I'm gonna keep this mod, and I'm gonna be using the Skoda trucks because they are quite quite iconic. I think they are the best trucks for the better part of the game. These Skoda trucks, and I bet most of you use them more often than not in any category that you have. Price wise, you saw already what it is. The capacity: three tons of meat, six point five tons of meat is the bigger one. 
I do apologize, Mr. Novu made this one, and it's Skoda 706 refrigeration, smaller version of the Skoda 706 refrigeration, available from 1958 to 1985. It's really, really nice. Check out the link in the description of the video. Right, so something different now. This is, again, Mr. Novu. What we have here is IMZ Solo Motorcycle. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about this because this is extremely interesting on my part. For me, this is extremely something that should be in this game. Not that I'm a big lover of motorcycles. I really am as well. N not that much. I bet most of you are better. Anyway, so a lightweight motorcycle for individual rider. It's cheap to build and fuel efficient. Available from 1950 to 1999. Speed 85 kilometers per hour with 4 kilowatt engine. Will add riders in the future. Update probably in a couple of days. Right. Anyway, so why motorcycle? Like... I understand this game has a big issue you know I'm not I'm saying vanilla is as good as the mods that it has attached to it I'm a big fan of mods the problem with vanilla in this game is that the cars that you see here they're all let's face it I think we even squ squeezed in five people in these cars but guess what even though they have a capacity of four uh, you can only use one space for it unless you attach it to the construction site where it goes and picks up additional workers it actually just uses one person all the time and they're kind of waste of well, let's face it, everything. Uh, well, motorcycles here, they would have only one rider, probably potentially two, what like Mr. Novo said in the description. And I think this is a sane, re uh, sane thing to do. Unfortunately, they're still acting. They're probably just reskinned vehicles, like cars. So they're gonna not going to be swinging left and right on their own lanes. They're probably going to drive in the center of the lane. And they will obviously take as much parking space as a car as well which real motorcycles wouldn't do so uh, how does it compare to whatever we have over here let's go for the personal cars if you scroll all the way in the end they are only 171 rubles while all the cars that you can buy are much cheaper fiat's mawo here polish one is 550 544 which is one of the cheaper in-game cars that you can get you have something like trabi here trabant from eastern germany uh, that is comparable in price but other are quite quite more expensive i think if you're gonna have cars in your society i think motorcycles are much better more fuel efficient and cheaper way to go about it and let's face it they can only drive one person at a time anyway so this is something you should check it out link in the description of the video okay i will call this one Chernoluce. With Slavic languages, it's really hard. Are you trying to Englishize the names or are actually written like that? For example, CH in Polish is read as just H as H. So I'm gonna assume that this is Englishized Russian word for Chernoluce. Chernoluce is a village in Omsk district of the Omsk region. The village is located on the banks of the Irtish River. Yada yada yada. I'm gonna leave this for you to read. This is from Mr. Serp Port. It has a huge description uh, about this map. What I'm gonna say about this map is uh, it took my heart away. It's absolutely beautiful. I love these... let's call it Siberian Outback, even though it's kind of closer to European Empire part. Anyway, it's Omsk region. Uh, it's has everything that one would want to have on the map it has a challenge it has sparsely it's it's it has some population to start at it has a big big river going in the middle of the map and it has flat siberian siberian flatlands a lot of these inlets where you can build your harbors extend them if you wish a lot of little abandoned villages here and there it's absolutely beautiful and really detailed map natural beauty is everywhere you turn of course it has a couple of quirks a couple of positive things that i'm really interested in for example you have this railroad and a road line going all the way on the border it's actually on the other side of the border but i'm pretty sure that you should be able to use it as well but i'm gonna leave that for you to explore guys so this is how it looks like this is one of the border crossings here this is nato uh, nato side and we have soviet side of course you have nato border crossings as well you, let's check out the map and resources first so we are all the way in the lower right hand corner here and as you can see how it goes it has a little bit of hilliness here but trust me that's just visually 
looks hilly it's actually not really so it's mostly flat i i love it this is one of the nicer map i saw recently and probably my f definitely my favorite mod and my favorite map in 2021 i would even say it's comparable to the one that we have look at this I, i'm just gonna show you this this is a screenshot of this there but look at this village look at this village if we remove all the gui here look at this this is absolutely beautiful and stunning this scenery over here it just takes your breath away at <laughs> least i i love it look at this pine forest and this little beautiful village do they have churches? I didn't notice any, but they might do. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. They are so absolutely stunning and beautiful. This is exactly how I imagine Siberia to be. Never been there, but uh, this is this is something that I urge you to check out on your own. Right, let's go for the map again and the resource part. It has some coal on the river banks here. A little bit more dense on this side over here, but it's going to be challenging to get any serious amounts of coal here. Again, the river transport and the boat, boats you saw in this video check it out it might be quite useful over here uh, iron resources there's obviously a meteorite impact over here not really i'm kidding uh, there's a little bit more significant iron resource around here so you have to check out this one out oil again mr surport is quite it, it, it's an art it's it's definitely ch it's gonna be a challenge to play something like this if we weren't doing the series i am i'm definitely be playing this map this is one of my favorite maps and definitely goes in top five list of all times uh, again uranium only one source you're gonna have to fight to get that uranium on the ground and also bauxite as well I, I, it's just absolutely it's perfect it's a perfect map i love it it's a little bit of challenging a lot of beautiful and a lot of places to expand your cities and harbor sports port everything everything uh big big thumbs up from me and mr support this is a keeper this map and i will be playing in my private time and probably even in the series on this map as well anyway guys that's it i'm gonna leave it here i'm gonna say one more time please go and check all the other mods our community is doing amazing amazing job go and support them however you can like uh, there are mods and uh, just enjoy enjoy you need to enjoy this game and it, it, it's not worth it if you don't anyway uh, that's it for this mod monday i hope you liked it if you did press the like button subscribe notification bell ring it comment section hit it you have the means to support the channel if you want description of the video guys happy monday and i'm gonna see you in the next one bye bye